for the listeners, I'll explain how this works. You might have heard of this one before. This is going to be overrated, underrated. So I'm, we're rapid fire. I'm going to list off some, uh, some painting equipment. And I want you to tell me if you think it's overrated, underrated, or appropriately rated. And then very, very short explanation. Right. You ready for this? Overrated, underrated. Warpstone, glow. Uh, underrated. I'll go underrated as well. Underrated. Why do you think it's underrated? Because it's not a rubbish paint. It's just great for glazing and great for really thin layers. If you want to lock in with it, it's not the paint to use. But it's not a crap paint. Yep. I think I echo those sentiments. And also it's used uh, sporadically through the Dark Angels color scheme. So that is... <laughs> <Joe's> very biased <laughs> as a result of that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, mold line removers. And, uh, overrated. Overrated. I think yeah. correctly rated, but I'll get into that. I overrate a uh, blunt knife that you've used for a long time uh, is just as good, if not better, in my opinion. Or, or, or hot take, Tamiya, Tamiya foam, uh, sanding foam is amazing. I'd rather use those. Uh, I just think correctly rated because I've never heard anyone big them up. <laughs> <laughs> so I imagine everyone probably feels just as indifferent about them as I do. Yeah, fair enough. Wet palettes. Uh, so difficult. Oh, it's got oh, a oh, difficult one, mate. Uh, <laughs> just the use of a wet palette is, in general. Uh, oh, um, underrated. I think a lot of people are worried about them. They're really, really a great tool for different jobs. Yeah, I'd maybe go underrated. Yeah. I think you can't, can't, can't rate them enough. Do you think that within people, within people who already paint or maybe are accustomed to them, do you think that they're overrated once you get past that beginner line of people who haven't used one before? It's just another tool. I think there's this whole, again, it's don't put the, put the tool on the pedestal. Like it's used for a certain job. Um, it's not used for everything. I think just uh, there's a big, oh, use a wet palette. Like, it's just another tool for doing certain jobs. And I think that's the way that, in my opinion, it should be looked at. Right. Overrated, underrated. Makeup brushes for painting. Uh, underrated. I think they're very good. Um, obviously, like all cards. Uh, when I was one of the owners of AO, uh, we, we bought a range of brushes, Series D, but they are underrated. Like I think the makeup brushes are very good as well. I think they're just as good. There's pros and cons to all different types of brushes, but but um, but yeah, I, I think they're uh, they're massively underrated. Yeah, I think James pretty much echoes my sentiments. They're very handy. We were even saying like I've got I've, yeah I've got a twist on these. Yeah. ones. Yeah. I I don't use them for dry brushes, but do you know what they're great for? Dusting off models. I yeah, always massive have oversized there. makeup yeah, brush. Yeah, they are good. We know you've got yeah. dusty mos models sat on the shelf or yeah. in your cabinet. Makeup brush. Absolute perfect tool for the job. Nice and soft. Won't yeah. damage the paint. And I I also just to throw in there, like if you've got a set of Series D or or, yeah, or an equivalent, like the, the, they're too stiff to actually dust models. You end up just snapping things off models. So makeup brushes are great for that. Overrated, underrated. Ultrasonic cleaners. Underrated. Oh, I would agree. Uh, they're very good. I wouldn't use them for all the parts from an airbrush. I would just put in the bits that you need to clean, like the end cap, needle cap, needle, things like that. I think there is a, a bit of a concern to be careful because it might take the, the plating off of airbrushes and things like that. So just be careful. Just put in the end cap and bits that do actually need cleaning. And do not use the liquid that comes with the ultrasonic cleaner or ultrasonic liquid. Just use like window cleaner or uh, fairy liquid or something like that. Yeah, I've, I've gone with fairy liquid. But I would uh, just to, yeah, I would make sure you look up like, your safety advice and stuff on that before you use them. Yeah. Um, yeah. Vortex paint mixers. Underrated. I want to say correctly rated, but we'll... I like them. I think they've got a very good job. I know that I'm going to get probably the uh, drop a bottle a thing from you. Drop a bottle, but, mate. Um, put, a, put an agitator in there. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. I agree. Uh, it's, that's a very good way of doing it. I just do think they're very good. Uh, it's Look, we all like gadgets. All right, okay. It's a cool gadget for you. We guys. all like gadgets. Yeah. That's such an old man thing to yeah, say. I don't care. We, do like, <laughs> we all like your gizmos and stuff. <laughs> gizmos and gadgets. So yeah. So yeah. Uh, no, I like them. They're great. Underrated. Yeah, I just think that they're fine, but I feel like enough people either love them or hate them that they're just sort of set there in the middle, aren't they? Yeah. Foam carry cases. Uh, overrated. <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to agree. I think overrated as well. Why is that? Uh, because it causes friction and rubs paint off a model over time. Rubs paint off a model? Yeah, That's not foam, an argument the, I've heard. The foam, the foam will gradually rub paint off a model. If you, Even if it's varnished, it will do because of the contact between the foam and the model. Just abrasive. Yeah, magnet under the base, metal sheet, carry case, done. I just think maybe, maybe I've... Maybe I've always used them incorrectly, but I've never had a good time with a foam case, really? if I'm honest. Yeah, just that being said, I don't transport of... models often enough because I don't get no, it. I, never I, really... think, I think it might have something to do with the fact that the only time I was ever trans transporting models was when I was I had a Def Guard army and I was playing games and they're like really spiky and have little fragile yeah, bits all off that. and they yeah, were just yeah. like being snapped and they're fine. Pin vice. Uh, overrated. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. that this is going to be the one talking point. I'm going to say, uh, I feel like I say correctly rated a lot, but I feel like no one, 
other than James I've ever heard actually. I'm Biggest a... Pin Vice hater I've ever met. Yeah, yeah. Hobby. I think the Pin Vices are great. Uh, that it, it it does what it needs to and it gives you the control that you need to drill those tiny little barrels. I'm not even going to let you answer. And, uh... Pin Vice, <laughs> perfect. And yeah, that, so I'm fine. I like them. But James, go ahead. They're overrated, you said. Overrated waste of time. Literally, I will out drill you in the squat bit. <laughs> Literally, I'll out drill you every time. Um, just get yourself a really budget electric drill, sharp knife, middle of the barrel, drill, 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 done. It takes seconds. You're sitting there for ages just twiddling. The it. risk I reward twiddling. of the electric drill is the what, amount. Is what I'm sorry, I don't know if I'm, I'm like, look. You master pressure management with a brush and painting and being careful and that kind of stuff. You just, it's just like another thing. You just got to get the muscle memory in the hand to know how, how careful to use the drill. It's, it takes. Do you know what my little hack for the pin vice is? Buy. I don't think people realise like because I I like I like tools. I like my gadgets. I like my tools. You like your gizmos. Yeah. I don't think people realise what a massive impact buying the like expensive high quality drill bits has in general. So oh, I yeah, buy yeah. like jewelers like high end. They're quite expensive drill bits, but I mean at the end of the day, going for plastic, they're gonna last you forever as long as you don't lose it or snap it. I use those and they tear through models like butter. Yeah, they do. They're great. And, and like, but still, you're, it's ages to drill with the thing. And, you, and, like, and I'm not being no, I'm sorry, but like, you I'm know, sat there with like the old mechanical wheel. Like, you're <laughs> you're going to you're gonna get RSI or you're going to get long term arthritis from using it over and over and over and over and over again. How many barrels are you drilling today? Okay, you always drill your barrels. <laughs> okay. Uh, like, um, um, but yeah, no, I, like, uh, just a cheap budget drill. Uh, like, you don't have to go Ferrari, Vidal, to assume the wall. Don't like, don't go too crazy, but like, you'll, you'll drill through the bloody model. But, but like, um, but yeah. Yeah, just just a cheap cheap DIY drill, you'd be fine. And then when you want to put pictures up and stuff, you have got a drill to use as well. So like it's oh, very functional. Yeah, there you yeah, go. It's good. Right. That's quick fire answer there. Yeah, sorry. I like that. <laughs> All right. 